Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. I'm honored to be here. I will be very short. I will try to be. Um, we are also a traditional gas company. We are a traditional gas supplier and uh, we are in production. We have, a, we have uh, 60 percent of the domestic gas production of uh, Romania. Romania cons Romania's consumption is about 12 BCM by year and uh, Rome gas produce 5 uh, BCM. We are also um, um, underground gas storage operator with a market share of um, 94 percent, 2.7 BCM. But um, so our main priority is uh, Romania's energy security. We are also a state-owned company. 70% of our shares are held by uh, Ministry of uh, Energy. And of course, by maintaining competitive prices. The Ukrainian war uh, effect on the European and global energy market, but also the economic effects of the pandemic of COVID-19 uh, has highlighted the importance of the domestic energy resources. Um, the geopolitical crisis, uh, Ukrainian war, uh, Middle East, Sub-Saharan uh, crisis, uh, the vulnerability of supply chains, I'm referring what's happened in the Strait of Bab el Mandeb, uh, will be all factors which will influence also this year, but in the next year, for sure in 2025, uh, um, um, the energy market, the competition for resources between uh, European and uh, Asian gas hubs, the challenge of building LNG terminals in Europe. I'm mainly referring to the time required to have such a complex uh, infrastructure show the importance of domestic resources. In this context of uncertainty, the role of Rome Gas, uh, Romania's leading gas producers, as I mentioned, uh, is to continue its investments in the concession pyramids in order to limit the decline uh, of gas production. We have a goal. Uh, below 2.5 percent annual decline, which is remarkable because, because on um, uh, on global uh, at the global level, the acceptable acceptable production decline is between 10 and 50 per 15 percent. Uh, the consolidation of countries, energy security, the need for new resources in order to succeed the energy transition uh, has determined us to enter in Neptune Deep project in August 2022, together with our uh, partners from uh, OMV Petrom. And I think the partnership with the OMV Petrom contribute a lot to the modernization of our industry. It's a good and useful and constructive uh, synergy mm -hmm. between our uh, our companies mm -hmm. we have 50 percent but we are not uh, operator our colleagues from uh, omv petrom um, we are also um, involved in uh, regional partnerships uh, i quote azerbaijan but we are interested to explore also other partners uh, to contribute <coughs> to the diversification of our um, country's uh, suppliers uh, and, um, of course, we uh, are seeing uh, the electrification process of an, as an opportunity. That's why we invest in the production of uh, a power gas power plant, uh, power plant on gas at Yernut. Uh, 430 megawatts uh, will be inaugurated uh, uh, at the end of this uh, year. And, as you know, natural gas for... Uh, in order to produce electricity is on the list of uh, EU green uh, taxonomy. And um, of course, um, the transition must be affordable. Uh, this is important because uh, uh, we saw what happened in France with yellow vest. We saw the farmers. Uh, we, the, the transition might be, uh, must be step by step to give the time to our company to transform because this transition it's uh, now in Europe but not only in Europe uh, um, uh, is the fourth industry is the beginning of the fourth uh, industrial revolution and um, as we see in the history uh, we are forced to succeed the um, 
the industrial uh, revolution because uh, uh, this will shape not only the um, paysage in Europe of the energy industry but also the influence of uh, European uh, countries. We are, we are very conscient as Rome Gas, even if we are a company, a gas producer and a supplier mainly now, that our target is uh, to be a net zero company by uh, 2050, but we need to transform. It's a very complex process. Uh, we need to transform not only uh, our business, we must conserve, and this is very important because we need to conserve and to transform our human resources because the transition, the success of transition depend on human resources. And um, of course, uh, offer to the Romanian economy an element of, of competitiveness, and of course, to avoid the technological gap with the most industrialized countries of EU. Thank you. Thank you very much.